Surgical robots are starting to enter our lives in a very significant way. And Fred, you've been at the forefront of innovation in this area for the better part of 30 years. Uh, initially founding a couple of companies you exited, and then more recent years with Oris Health, you, you created a mon the Monarch platform, which is innovating again uh, in, in uh, robotics. What does the Monarch platform do? So the Monarch platform is able to control flexible tools, and by that I mean tools that um, are able to turn corners uh, inside the lumens of the body. We focus very early on on the diagnosis of lung cancer with uh, something called a robotic bronchoscope, and that's a, a robot that's able to navigate the airways in the lung. The robotic bronchoscope is able to get, uh, get to where it's going in a way that, um, that conventional technology has a hard time doing. And so we thought that uh, a great place to start with, uh, with the Monarch platform was the procedure of um, uh, robotic biopsy of the, uh, of the lung because lung cancer diagnosis is really uh, dependent on early intervention with regard to you know, chances of success. What do you think about the next steps for Oris beyond uh, lung cancer diagnosis? There are uh, a number of lumens in the body, uh, all of which provide access uh, to tissue. And if that tissue is diseased, uh, if one can uh, use a flexible robot to get to that area of interest or that target anatomy, it really dramatically decreases the morbidity associated with a treatment. There are lots of applications that can provide the opportunity to uh, have a more minimally invasive approach to the tissue. When we think about uh, robotics in healthcare, uh, of course, artificial intelligence, uh, AI enters the, the thought process of playing a very important role. And a lot of, a lot of talk out there is that AI will replace uh, the human doctor. Uh, what's your perspective on that? The clinician's uh, most powerful tool is his or her judgment. And so, um, you know, for, uh, AI to replace the judgment of the clinician, I think is gonna take a long, long time and not a good idea anytime soon. Having said that, um, AI can be used to um, do a very good job of manipulating instrumentation and um, avoiding the downside of an inadvertent uh, mistake that it can catch and avoid um, in many situations that would make a, a big difference in that uh, in that patient's experience.